Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather in the first storm of the three. Minor. It was a minor storm. It gave up a lot of its energy to break the high, dislodge it, which you can see it has done on the satellite perspective. Uh, minor. Moved through Colorado this morning with light accumulations. The second low, the low you see in red there in California, fast moving minor. Now it's the third storm that you see right there on the satellite perspective that becomes the main event of the week. That's the one that brings the colder air, more wind energy to help with snow efficiency and generation uh, across Utah. The heaviest accumulations with that third low will be in Utah, Colorado, northern New Mexico, and southern Wyoming. Um, so uh, also of importance, notice the red low over Hawaii. That becomes a key storm for next week. Could turn into, and I stress could, an atmospheric river set up for the West Coast, including California, which would mean big time totals in the Sierra. Then that storm would move into the interior. I'll show you this potential here. Let's look at the future radar. And uh, here's what uh, it's showing. This is the American GFS interpretation. Let me just slide into Wednesday, Thursday, and show you this second small low. You see the blue? Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, Idaho fast moving minor accumulations for most places here comes the main low this is thursday morning right here between thursday and friday it spins up in colorado this is friday morning you can see oh, what did it hit 991 on the pressure um, so good accumulations i'm just kind of rewinding and moving forward you can see the movement of that snow through utah into colorado northern new mexico southern wyoming so again there's friday morning and then by saturday uh, we're basically back to nothing. It's drying, the air's drying, the air, the wind has turned, and, and it's over. Saturday's gonna, Friday and Saturday would be exquisite ski days. Uh, best days so far of this fall season for sure in a lot of these areas in Utah and Colorado. Um, and then it's gone. Let me just fast forward. Let me show you how this could play out early next week. Look, watch the snow, the deep blues pile up in the Sierra and the, most of the West Coast if this sets up correctly. And there it is. Look at that. Monday into Tuesday. And then the low would break loose. So this is Tuesday morning. This is Wednesday morning. Look at the low moving into the interior Rockies. Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado could be in for another round of heavy snow if that plays out. We'll definitely watch that. Here's what I'm thinking. We'll do this in two phases as far as the totals. First phase between today through the 11th. So you can see the numbers, one to two feet, Utah, Colorado, lesser amounts in Wyoming and California, pretty good snow up in the Pacific Northwest, less in interior BC. That's phase one. All right, so let's look at phase two here. This is the 12th through the 15th. So this takes into account um, that storm next week. If it sets up as an atmospheric river, uh, California would get nailed. Um, of course, that's way out. It's a possibility, not set in stone. If that storm develops and then moves into the interior, we could be talking heavy snow in Utah and eventually Colorado. We're just kind of capturing the first part of this in Colorado, so the numbers would likely go up beyond the 15th if this actually happens. Um, and, and the decent numbers up there in Wyoming, good for Sun Valley if this plays out, and pretty good snow up into Pacific Northwest and BC. So that's a big if. Um, let, me, uh, let me drill down to a little bit more. One piece of bonus material here, Crested Butte. My snow plume forecast, you can see the numbers. About, I'd be surprised if you don't pick up between one and two feet uh, by the week's end, by week's end, especially that, that third storm. That's going to be the key to all of this, the colder air, the wind, the wind direction for Crested Butte. And then notice by the 14th and the 15th, the plume starts to rise up there. Um, I know I'm blocking that, but it starts to rise up um, as that next storm comes in. So at least there's stuff out there on the horizon. Let's see how this plays out this week. The third storm is the key. Thanks, guys, for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.